We are only days away from the primary election. One important position on the ballot is San Luis Obispo County's clerk recorder. Incumbent Elena Kano is running along with James Bow and Stu Jenkins. KSBY news reporter Claudia Busio has more on why each candidate is running. One thing all three candidates have in common is that they want Slow County residents to be more engaged in local politics. They want the community to trust in the elections process. The clerk recorder might be a nonpartisan position often overlooked on the ballot. However, this is the person in charge of keeping your records safe and overseeing the integrity of local elections. I do this from my heart. I believe that um, this community, this county deserves somebody who is honest, who is uh, a hard worker, and uh, who will uphold the integrity of the law in, um, in all aspects, not just of elections, but to keep your documents safe and secure. Going into other countries and seeing how much people want to vote, and then even now seeing that this has so far been a low turnout election. We need to get people involved, and the only way we do is we bring it to you, we go out, we talk to you, and we answer your questions. I can do that for you. I will work for you. I will come brief you on our progress. That's my job to do. People are arguing that votes are stolen on one side. Other people on the other side are arguing that votes are being suppressed. And because I worked as a deputy registrar of voters in the office in the 1970s um, under some very good uh, county clerks, uh, they showed me how to bring everybody in from both sides of the political divide. Elena Kano was appointed to the Slow County Clerk Recorder position after former Clerk Recorder Tommy Gong resigned last year. From working for the cities of San Luis Obispo and Pismo Beach as their city clerk, up through um, the assistant county clerk, the elections division manager in Santa Barbara County, and then now uh, being appointed in October of 2021 by the Board of Supervisors. James Ball volunteered as a poll worker during the 2016 and 2020 elections and as a precinct inspector during the California governor recall election. I've been in leadership positions for 34 years of my life since I was 21 years old. You know, I led men in combat at 23 years old. I understand what leadership is. I led an effort out at Fort Hunter Liggett to keep it open. So I understand what it takes in order to lead. And I think I can do the same thing down here in the county. Stu Jenkins is an election law lawyer who was also elected to the Port San Luis Harbor Commission. I've had to sue the county clerk a few times um, um, in order to help uh, the process and make sure that it was done properly. Uh, I've helped candidates get themselves on the ballot. I've helped them with campaign finance. All three candidates are looking to expand the clerk services for northern San Luis Obispo County residents. Kano is also looking to strengthen outreach efforts. After the election, it doesn't stop there. I need to hear from the people as far as what are their concerns? How can we implement it? How can we show you what more transparency looks like? Ball wants to add a civic engagement program for local schools and future candidates. Host a seminar and bring all potential candidates in and bring the clerk's office to, you know, to them and bring in you know, you know, past candidates and campaign managers and talk about what it takes to run. While Jen Jenkins plans to create a nonpartisan county citizens redistricting commission. I'm planning on being able to roll back the cost to local governments by anywhere from 70 to 80 percent of what they're paying for having their local elections. In order to become the next Slow County Clerk Recorder, a candidate has to have more than 50 percent of all votes. If not, this race moves forward to November. In San Luis Obispo, Claudia Busio, KSBY News. You can find any election resources that you need just by scanning this QR code. Open up your phone's camera and point it at the screen to scan it, and you'll be directed to the Election 2022 tab on our website. You'll be able to find all you need to know about local election races. And you can also watch a special Spanish language program about the upcoming primary election on the KSBY live stream. It runs each day this week at 8 a.m., 12 p.m., and 8.30 p.m. To check it out, just click on the Watch Live button at KSBY.com or download the free KSBY app on Roku, Apple TV, Fire TV, or Android TV.